All right, today's lecture is going to be on market structure. Structure of markets. There are four different market structures that we're going to study. It's perfect competition, monopolistic competition, oligopoly, and pure monopoly. And these different market structures are determined by various categories, such as the number of firms in the market, a firm's influence over price, product differentiation, if there's advertising used, ease of entry into the market for other firms, and then our last category, we're just going to look at some examples. So the first one we're going to study is perfect competition. There are many different firms in a perfectly competitive market. They have zero influence over price. I'll explain that later. The product differentiation, the difference of products that are being sold in the market, there is no differentiation, no advertising used, and the entry into the market. So if a business wants to um, enter into the market of this product, it's very, very easy to do so. So perfect competition, perfectly competitive characteristics. There are many, many buyers and sellers. Products are identical. There's no, there are no brand names. There are no advertising. Buyers and sellers, they act independently. The sellers independently compete for the buyer's money, the buyer's dollar, and the buyers compete with one another for the lowest price. And there's this idea of complete information. Buyers and sellers know exactly which suppliers have the lowest price. So the buyers are going to shop at the stores with the lowest prices, and the sellers are going to match the stores that have the lowest price. That's what results in the zero influence over the price. If one, if one seller lowers the price, all the others are going to have to match that store very quickly. Otherwise, all the other buyers are going to go and shop at the lowest seller's place. Our next category is monopolistic competition. Again, there are many firms. They start to have a limited influence over the price. Product differentiation, there's some. There's some advertising used, and it's still fairly easy to enter the market. This is a market structure where there's a large number of sellers, and they offer similar but not identical products. So we're looking at toothbrushes right here in this photograph, and they're very similar products. You know, it's tough to differentiate toothbrushes. However, they're not identical, so there is some differentiation. The bristles are different, the handles different, different colors, etc. Each firm has a small percentage of the market, and each firm acts independently, kind of using, again, looking for their own interests. The next market structure we're going to look at is an oligopoly. There are only a few firms this time. They have some influence over the price. There's a fair amount of product differentiation, some advertising used, and the key here, it's very hard to enter an oligopoly market structure. With an oligopoly, there are a few large sellers that dominate the industry. And now they have interdependent behavior. When one seller does something, the rest of them are going to follow. Okay? They really watch and see what the others do. Pricing behavior is usually quickly followed. So if one company will lower or raise their price, other companies are going to very quickly follow the price. Which results in most of these companies trying to compete on a non-price basis. So when they try to be better or than their competitors, they use different techniques than um, adjusting the prices, whether it's advertising or playing some sort of um, price, kind of pricing games and ideas and stuff like that. Our last market structure here is a pure monopoly. In this one, only one firm exists. They have complete control over the price, essentially. Zero product differentiation because it's only one firm, so they don't have to. No really advertising because they are the whole market. And it's very, very, very hard to enter into a monopolistic market structure. Pure monopolies, there's a single seller. There are no close, close substitutes because they are the market. And the firm is the price maker. And they do so by controlling the quantity supply because the demand is going to remain the same. Three types of monopolies. There's a natural monopoly, where the costs are minimized by having a single firm produce the product. A geographic monopoly, with the absence of other sellers in the area. And a technological monopoly, where essentially there's a patent.